Holy Wiremind here and welcome to the GLOA Pro series where we're going to be covering various topics on how to create add-ons and uh, game modes and whatnot where I utilize all my experience from creating SCPRP and other game modes as well and making everything much better explained, more detailed and precise uh, than our last Lua tutorial series. So this should help you guys even if your introductory never touched Lua before, this should be very useful for you. So let's get started. First, you're going to need to go to links in the description below and download Notepad++ and GLUA Highlighter, which we have a video here. And also, you're going to need a source dedicated server. Again, the link is in the description below on how to get that set up. So once you have that set up, just uh, take a moment uh, and then we'll continue on from right here. Opening Notepad++, as well as going to the server, let's go to start.bat and then we're going to edit with Notepad++. So the only thing you really have to worry about here, of course you have the map, which is uh, GM, and then we have max players, I have 16. You can set it to whatever you like. We're going to be editing the game mode. So we're gonna call this my game mode, and that's gonna tell the server, this is the game mode that we wanna run, my game mode. However, the only issue is we don't actually have the game mode set up yet. So let's go do that. So go into your server files, go to Gary's mod, then go to game modes, and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this folder my game mode open and here you're going to be storing all the information related to your game mode so there's many different uh, files that you can have in here we're going to keep it simple i will be covering the file structure in the next video so let's just start with game mode and this is where all your lua files for your game mode will be stored now we're also going to need to tell gary's mod information about the game mode so we're going to call this my game mode dot text and let's just open that up now for those who are unfamiliar this is going to be mainly so that the list in gary's mod like the multiplayer list will be able to identify the name of your game mode and a bunch of other key information you can also set console commands in here but we'll get into that a little bit later so i want to keep everything simple for you so we'll put my game mode then we have curly brackets then we're going to use the base game mode. So the base will be base. You can also put sandbox here or whatever else you want to base the game mode off of. That is fine too. But for this tutorial, we keep it simple. And here we're going to have the title. So this is what's actually going to be displayed on this list for the name of your game mode. So I'm going to put my game mode. The maps that we're going to be using or the type of maps that we're going to be using are going to be the Gary's mod map. So we're going to have GM and then close that off just as such. Menu system. So does your game mode actually get shown in this menu? One for yes or true, zero for no or false. So we're going to put a one there because we want our game mode divisible. Workshop ID, you're pretty much not going to be using this until you actually upload the game mode to the workshop. We haven't even created it, so we're just going to leave that as blank. So save that as is. Then we're going to close out, go into game mode. Now here we're going to need three important files. The first one is going to be init.lua. Now, if you're not able to modify the extension like I just did, go to view, and there is a tick box right here, file name extensions. So just tick that, and you'll be able to modify the extensions. Then we're going to need another file called shared.lua. And lastly, we're going to need one, no, not a folder. We don't want a folder. We're going to need last file, and we're going to call that cl underscore init.lua. So before we get into this, let me take a moment to explain servers and clients. A server is simply a machine a unit which other people connect to. So we're going to have a CPU, for example, has operating system, has RAM and all this stuff. This is where our server is going to be. It has an IP address associated with the server, which has a port number. Clients connect via this port to your server. So when a client is connecting to your server, the client is sending their information to the server. So at the end of the load screen, when joining the server, you might see sending client info. Well, that's what's going on. Now they connect to the server, and now the server is able to send information back to the client, and client to server, and back and forth. Note that 
clients cannot send information directly to each other. They have to use the server as a median of connection to communicate with one another. So client A will send information to the server and the server sends that information to client B and so forth. All right, so now that you have the basics of the communication down, let us then program or code all these things really quick. So we have init.lua. Now for init.lua, this is the file which automatically gets run uh, by the server when you start up your game mode. So the first thing we want to do is a command called add CSLua file. And what this does is it says, hey, hey server, I want you to send the designated file to be downloaded by the client. So here we have seal init.lua. That, remember that is the client's init file. And also, hey server, I want you to also send this information of share.lua to the client as well. Okay, so then we are also going to be including, which means we want the contents of the given file to be run in this file, init.lua. So we're going to say shared.lua, okay? Now the thing is, we don't have anything in any of these files, so let's get that started. So let's go here, and we have shared.lua. So shared.lua, remember, anything that we put here is going to be now included in init.lua when it's automatically run. So generally here, we're going to have Gary's mod name, or not Gary's mod, I'm sorry, game mode name which is just a table storing information for the game mode. And this is going to be the name, so we're going to say my game mode. You can also include the author of this game mode. And we're going to put the name of the person programming this. If you have an email that you would like to add, you can do that as well. If you use AOL or whatever you use, I'm just using this as an example. And we have a website, which we can put our website in, and that's fine too. Now that's great. So now all this information will be sent or included to init.lua. You can also put custom values. So say uh, you want uh, the max players or whatever information here, you can put an integer value to um, 16 anything you want for the game mode but we're not going to do that but now you know you can so let's open the client now remember client is going to be including share.lua share.lua is going to be seen by both the client and the server so we're going to also have an include right here for share.lua and there we go now we have everything set up now note if you did not have anything in this file is completely blank there will be an error and you will not actually be able to run your game mode properly. So you actually have to have content in your file to actually run the game mode. So let's go here and let's go to general and then we're going to go to start and we're going to run the server. Now, as usual, I'm going to actually block this because it shows the IP address. So I am running some add-ons on here. So that's why you see a bunch of this stuff right here. So now you can see it is done and we have my game mode right here. So let's refresh and there we go. And let's connect. Alrighty, we are now in the server. As you can see, I have uh, add-ons installed. I'm going to explain that as well in the second video. And now you can see everything's working. There's no queue menu. There's nothing. This is just the base game mode. And you can see I don't even have a player model or anything like that. So that's going to conclude this first video. In the next video, I'm going to go over the file structure so you understand what files go where, how to add uh, custom things or weapons and entities and all that fun stuff. And we'll get through all the cut dry material so we can actually begin our programming. Until then, if you like the content, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And remember that bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Hexane Networks for affordable and high-performance server hosting. That's Hexane Networks, whose link is in the description below.